Well, many of you already know her. She's a 68-year-old pistol-packing grandma who is quickly becoming box office goal. You know her from last year's smash hit, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. And now she's firing up the big screen again in Medea's family reunion. She is very, very private, never does interviews. So this is really, um, this is big for us. Joining us for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one from her living room in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Medea Simmons. I'm making all of that noise. Please get somewhere and sit down. I'm trying to, I, look, I am trying to be on the show. Sit down. Hello, 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 Miss Medea. Hello. <laughs> Is that one for How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. I, I'm, I'm really, uh, I was happy to be able to talk you into doing this because I know you, you don't like doing interviews and uh, why did you consent to do this one? Because, you know, Oprah, I'm, 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 I'm not uh, political correct. You know, I don't worry about what people say. I say what's on my mind. Yeah. And, you know, people don't want you to just say what's on your mind. But I said, you know, I do Oprah because, you know, Oprah gonna make sure I'm all right. She, you can handle people telling the truth. Yes, you know? I can. And I tell the truth. Good morning. I say the truth when in the yeah. morning, I in love... the evening, in the afternoon. That's what, all the time. All, all the time. I have to say this. I have to say that um, I know that you've spent some time in jail. I saw... Uh... Now wait, Oprah, now wait, now wait. Now you I... ain't got to be telling people all my business. <laughs> that was between me and you. You ain't got, you'd have told all of the world that I'd have been in jail. But tell me this, what was that experience like for you in jail? Because I hear for a lot of people going to jail, it's traumatic and you never know when you're... <laughs> Wasn't traumatic for me at all. I was setting it the hell off up in there, honey. Wasn't nobody gonna mess with me. With, okay. Yeah, they put me in Martha Stewart's old cell, so it was quite cute. Yeah. She had flowers and wallpaper up on the wall, so I was all right. <laughs> well, you know Tyler Perry is here. Tyler Perry is yeah. here. Yeah. Hi, my dear. Yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> What is your relationship like with Tyler Perry? We don't talk very much no more because he didn't invite me to the legendary ball that you would be invited him to. They yeah. said they didn't want me to come because they, you know, they, well, you know what he told me? He said, you can't go because you and Tina Turner look too much alike. And, uh, and Oprah might be jealous of y'all. I asked him to bring you and he said he didn't think you would be able to find a dress because it was a white tie ball. And he said that you didn't like formal affairs. Like... I got a prom dress from 62. I'd have came up in there looking good. <laughs> and you had on red. I could have worn orange or something. We would look like sisters. So Tyler has a question for you, too. Go ahead, Tyler. So, uh, Medea, how are you handling this uh, newfound fame? You know what I try to do, Oprah? I try, I try to be nice to people as long as they don't come up to me asking me crazy stuff. But it's hard for me to deal with the paparazzi. It's always taking me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest thing I have to deal with, with the paparazzi. With the paparazzi? <laughs> the paparazzi. Yeah, yeah, they always follow me everywhere I go. I can't go to the bathroom without them trying to snap a picture. It's sad. It's sad. I wish they would leave me alone. I've seen in that Diary of a Mad Black, I noticed that you carry, you, you, you pack some heat. I have to, Oprah. I have to. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. So if you keep your peace of steel, you'll keep some peace. So I keep me some peace. <laughs> you pull out the piece, everybody will go to running and get quiet. So I keep me some peace. Yeah, Ty Tyler has another question. Yeah. So being a single guy, what should I be looking for in a woman? The first thing he need to be doing is looking for a lawyer to get a prenup before he even go on a date. <laughs> they need to sign confidentiality agreements and prenup just for the date. It's scary, all the stuff these young women are do to get, to get a young man. It's scary, honey. Get you a prenup, and it better be thick as the yellow pages just to go on a date. That's my advice to you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good okay. morning. Okay. Well, since Medea does not like to do interviews, this is a rare chance for so many of her fans to get to know her a little better. So um, I, I, I never know. And all the things that I've seen about you, we don't know. Were you ever married? I've been married eight times. Well, nine, but I don't talk about that Clinton thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was eight times. You know, I believe in to death do us part. So all of my husbands died mysteriously after they made me mad. <laughs> and I would tell any woman, any woman, if you got an issue, I got a recipe for sweet potato pie. Do you understand? Well, killed them in three days. They wouldn't know what happened to them. <laughs>
Well, you, our audience is full of uh, some of uh, Medea's biggest fans, and they're all, I know, thrilled to get the opportunity to ask the oh-so-wise Medea their yeah. burning questions about relationships, life, and, and love. Lenore, Lenore, where are you? What do you want to ask Medea? Yeah. Medea, my husband and I have hit a dry spell. Do you have any advice on how we can put the spark back in our relationship? How long have you been married, honey? Three years. OK. And you hit a dry spell already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a dry bed three years. I ain't got no advice for you. <laughs> you trying to move the hell on. <laughs> okay, Brianna here is about to get married. What do you want to ask, my dear Brianna? I want to know if you have any last minute tips before I walk down the aisle. <laughs> I'll tell you what to do, honey. That's really good. Yes, I believe in love and marriage. I believe in people being happy. But I also believe in to death do us part. So get you a good insurance policy just in case these things don't work out. And I will send you this recipe for sweet potato pie. <laughs> <laughs> OK. You know, you watch the show. Yes, of course. I turn into Oprah every day. I have to see what's going on, Oprah. I tell you, you look good. And I can tell you on that low crab diet. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on, I tried to, Oprah. <laughs> I tried to do that low crab diet, and you know how they give you three or four crab hydrates? I like crabs. I can't just eat two or three. When I get that eat crab, I have to have more than that. You know, I, I'm, I'm now, you know what, I, I made a big mistake over the holidays. I, I mean, I allowed myself to eat bread, and I blew up, so I'm back off of bread now. You don't eat bread? No, I don't. I, I, don't. I, I, I did over the holidays, and I Oprah, put on a few Oprah, pounds. Oprah, so I gotta... Oprah, honey, what kind of life is that not eating bread? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know what I learned? I'm going to eat what I want to eat and I'm going to die whenever I die. This is what I find out. If I'm walking down the street and I get hit by a bus and I'm skinny and they go to my funeral, ain't nobody going to sit there going, oh, she was so thin. <laughs> they going to say, no, nah, she dead. She's so dead. I'm going to eat as much as I want to eat and enjoy myself. You yeah. look fabulous, honey. Well, I don't you. ever think I can get down this thank side. Thank you. Thank you. Always working on it, though. Always working on it. I'm back on the program. Danielle, where are you, Danielle? Danielle, hi. Hi, hi, Medea. Hello. Um, Hello. My question is about dating. Uh -huh. The dating game today can be very confusing and very frustrating. I was just wondering if you had any dating uh, advice. Yes, I would tell people, when you go on a date, don't give up nothing. I got this thing called clink, clink, lockdown, <laughs> which means you're a soldier in the army of not giving up nothing. You know, because dating, da dating and having sex will get you dinner and a movie. But holding out will get you diamonds and furs and Cadillacs and proposals and everything else. <laughs> Listen, men like a challenge. Consider yourself Mount Everest. Do you, you know how many men done died trying to get to the top of Mount Everest? <laughs> <laughs> Keep the flags off of you, honey. Keep the flags off of you. That's right. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.